up guys welcome back to the channel as you can see from the title today we are putting the mod that we should have put on the very very first everyone's been putting this mod on already but if you don't know now you know we have in front of me ray more sports titanium intake guys titanium i've never had a titanium intake before i don't even have an intake on my own car but to check out this purple by the way she has a lot of colors if you're interested but look at this wells guys oh my gosh so you guys seen the last video of ray's uh, intermediate pipe you guys all loved it so make sure to go give her a follow go hit her up for all your vb parts for intakes and intercoolers and exhaust she makes a bunch of stuff so super dope um i choose a purple because you know why not it's just such a unique color and then we have the k and filter that came with the order as well this coupling and i think that's it to be honest i thought it would be a lot more stuff but um it's actually not that much so um we're gonna go ahead and uh get this assault to you today and then uh, we're gonna hit up anthony for the tune and we'll be running an e50 tune so oh, it's gonna be a lot of power i'm very excited here and i can't wait to hear you know the, the you know that little splitter sound yeah so uh, we also have the boomba bypass valve by the way if you guys don't know we've been running since day one no problems no issues I uh, see people online saying that it doesn't have problems. Nah, man, we, 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 we had this car since day one and no problems with that Boomba whatsoever. But I'm very excited to put this on. Um, me and Jerry never did this before, so we're gonna, you know, join us today and we're gonna put this intake on. I wanna see how it looks under, uh, under the engine bay because we have a lot of stuff going on. We have like red, right, Jerry? We have red, red carbon blue. fiber, blue. <laughs> we got a bunch of stuff going on, so it's gonna be pretty sick. I'm very excited, like I said, uh, power-wise, performance-wise, and oh, also, our intercooler that she's making from us from mount same color so man this car is a lot of things going on i'm super stoked super excited so yeah guys let's go straight into it today uh to do the intercooler intercooler intake we have to drop this and this right here so the side under tray like we did last time for the exhaust you know what should have done La didn't last week but it's okay we'll deal with it now they're all the same to be honest so we're going for like super lap break ahead and take off the box with the eight millimeter oh jesus i'm gonna listen up this clamp right here okay and here is the box out so i do have my Pretty much brand new Canon air filter we bought 3,000 miles ago. So if y'all want this, comment below and I'll give this to you guys. Just the intake filter if you, if you want it. I'm like, we have no use for this now. So let me know, guys, if you want it, comment below. Oh, it just goes up like this. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, but I'm still assuming, yeah, that one goes for the stock one. So it's supposed to look like this, guys. So this, that couplet goes to the one that connects to the turbo. And then we put the filter on top. So it's gonna look like this, sitting like this. So, okay. Oh, gotta be very gentle. Okay, before I continue, I'm gonna go ahead lift the car up and then uh, take everything off here. Piece pretty much, and then everything inside there. So there's a, how am I gonna get that nut right there, bro? What the, it's kind of difficult. Ah, oh, my tent's on top, huh? <laughs> oh, I can't reach that, jeez. Oh, <laughs> okay guys, so I got this nut loosened. It's a really weird, let me flash it. All right, so the next step is removing this nut right here. I mean, this other clamp on the bottom. Gonna loosen this up. Legit my first intake install. Just like that, everything's just connected from the top and I'm gonna, should, can I pull it through here? Let's find out. Dude, Jerry, the light's in my face, bro. I can't see. You're trying to blind me, huh? Yeah, this ain't gonna work. So we're gonna go from the other side, guys. All right, guys, so here it is. Gonna do a giveaway? Yeah, who wants a stock intake part? I don't even know what part of the intake is. It's called a. It's yeah, called a. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm, yeah, I'm not going back stock. If I get pulled over, I'm screwed. You know, I need I need like a stock intake just in case. But okay, so let's start from this first because I believe this goes like that, and that goes like that. It might be. Other way around. Yeah. Yeah. Like so I'm assuming it's something like this. Okay. 
I still need to put a clamp in, but we're just gonna do a quick test fit to see how it fits. Okay, this thing, this thing is like really. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming because the O2 is right here, like this. Okay, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So it, the bracket goes on there, but I think the angle of this pipe is in the wrong position. So let's put the car back up. It's supposed to sit like this, so I'm assuming this, this has to be turned. Or maybe like this. Ah, wait, 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 wait. So we can put Ray's pipe in first, like this. Okay, might need to hold this for me. Thank you. So, her sit like this. It's like that, right? This is be like this. Yes, like that. Like that? No. No, like this. Like this. Like, like that. that. Okay, so, wait, let me confirm. Like this. So this is for this, I'm assuming. Okay. Yeah, this for later. So let's put this. I don't know how deep I'm supposed to go. Pretty deep. You think so? Yeah, from what I saw, you, you have to go like to the first row. There's a lot of pressure. Uh, so you don't want it too shallow because you know all that's gonna pop off. Blow yeah. it off. Mm -hmm. That's true. We're gonna be running a lot of power. So should I put some lube on this? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. You mess with the titanium. So I think I'm, I think I'm pretty far in already. We got one side in, and then let's put the clamp down because you know let's put it inside first before I even tie in this because I don't want to. So we need to adjust just in case. All right, guys. So let's put this pipe back in. All right, so I wanna wiggle the other end of the, oh, so smooth, like butter. We gotta turn it all the way, cause it's not sitting flush. Should we put the O2 sensor first? So next step is swap over the, this is O2 sensor? Mm -hmm. The O2 sensor. Spark plug? No, the, the spark mass, plug. mass airflow sensor. Sorry, I got swap, swap over the new spark plug right here, guys. This mm -hmm. is a spark plug 5000 right here. Map sensor is here. Are you gonna reach? Just like that, boom. We are almost there, guys. We are like, I would say 90%. Next, we have the K&N air filter, which is nice. We're running K&N on the, on the other one. Cup it in like that. I had an intake on my 2011 WX, and I was driving it on the track day, and then the whole inside connector, the inlet, was that connected turbo popped off, and my car shut off. I thought I blew my motor. True story. The first time tracking the car, too, so I was really paranoid. All right, guys, the next step is once we tighten this, the sensor is in. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything on the bottom, and we should be good. Okay, right, so we don't have the box. So uh, <laughs> the final two is right here. We're gonna tighten these two. That's what I did. All right, guys. Test fit number two. All right, guys, we just finished the intake install. Uh, we don't have the tune on yet, but I think it should be okay. We're just going to wait for Anthony for the tune. But meantime, we're going to see how it sounds like. Ugh. So, again, shout out to Ray Motorsports. I'm very excited to see this. It looks crazy. All right, let's get started. I ain't going to anymore, bro. guys so we just, we just have the intake on uh we don't have the tune yet uh, waiting for anthony to give us a new revised tune i think we're gonna go e50 but in the meantime i just want to get you guys some uh sound clip <sighs> that's what it sounds like from the inside and outside i'm very stoked Ooh, angling skills are getting better so we're still on the e30 uh previous tune but uh we're just gonna see what it sounds like i'm very excited so again shout out to ray again thanks ray for the, the intake it looks beautiful and I can't wait to see what it sounds like under load. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> you guys hear that? Here, Jerry, hey, I might need to move the mic to Jerry over there so you can hear it over there. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, 
uh, not stock tune, but you know, an unrevised tune. The power, power feels great right now. Oh uh, my goodness. Jerry, I'm gonna drop Jerry off. Get, inside, uh, get you guys some clips on the outside to see what it sounds like. And uh, that's it for this video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this video. Thank you guys for all the positive comments on the last video. We appreciate it. We're gonna keep giving you guys bangers all day long. So, all right guys, enjoy these uh, sound clips coming up. And I'll see you guys next week.